Ricky man. Are you hungry, bro? Record a uh, recording a eating video for this. What we have here is student biryani from Sydney, Australia. We got this recommendation from the work people, and I like this kind of uh, this kind of food, rice. Simple. Um, hope you like eating videos because this is what it is. Hope you like this kind of food too. I'm pretty much gonna be eating a lot of. I like food. I like eating. I'll try anything as long as it tastes good. All right. So if you haven't looked up biryani or if you haven't, uh, if you don't know what it is, it's rice with some uh, what, some seasons on it. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be, or oh, there's also gonna be lamb meat on this. This the option is some chicken or some lamb. I opted for the lamb because uh, I don't know. This one looks like a um, looks like there's a spring roll in this. Right. No, it's a bone. Oh well. Put this drink here. Uh, some onion. This is some veggies: onion, celery, um, carrot. And then some of this green sauce. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure this is like some spicy type of sauce. I like this. I think I am. Um, this is familiar to me. I'm pretty sure I've tried this before. I'm use this plastic bag to collect the waste. Let's do some preparation before I dig in. And I don't make too much of a mess. Let's try it. No. Mm. It turns tangy. Um, it's a tiny type of sauce. Tastes like there might be onion, maybe celery. There's a little bit of a kick to it. I like this one. I really like this sauce. Let's put this, make some room on my chair, my front seat. I, uh, I could have eaten in the restaurant, obviously, but I want some privacy while I talk about this. It's noisy in the restaurant. I'm not that it matters because there's an external microphone on this that blocks out some noise. Some, I just isolates whatever's in front of it. It's raining outside. This is some good um, raining, rainy day food or comfort food, I guess. So I'm just parked at a limited time parking, so I need to watch out for the parking rangers. Make sure they don't find me. Because I've already been fined. There was some bone marrow in it. Took it all in. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
I need to find the meat. This one looks like no, this one looks like like potato. Yeah. Here's a potato piece. In there. Okay, so I got a piece of lamb in here. It's a big one. I wish it was sliced a bit smaller, but no well. You can always just do some some cutting on the fly. Yeah, it's a, it has enough flavor, but the flavor is not exploding or anything in your mouth. And it's not that spicy, it's not spicy at all. I kind of wish there was a bit of spice in it. Next time I order from, from them, I'll see if there's a spicy one in their menu. I don't know when this, when's the next time I'm gonna come here because it is um, a little bit of a distance from my house it's about a half an hour drive and parking is annoying in this kind of place it's like a, it's almost like a semi city type uh, location it's busy a commercial type busy I like it, it's pretty good. And it's a big container too. See the depth? Uh, this one is for the lamb one. This is the meal one from Student Biryani. And for about 16 Australian dollars, 16 bucks. You get this, this one, and the green sauce, and a can. It's got the Pepsi Max, Pepsi Max one. Good. Good. Yeah, this type of food is uh I think this is Pakistani. Pakistani or Indian. Um I think they're I'm not sure where they're originally from, but yeah it's it's either one or both. They make some good food. Good spices. Yeah, I think they put some, they put some spice in it. I can feel a little, a tiny, really tiny bit of a kick. Uh, I normally like spicy food because because um, I like that, that zing, but not too spicy where it slows me down. I have to drink water and and everything. As a reference, I think this is similar to this Burmese dish that I had before. I'm, I forgot the name of it. If I don't remember the name, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put the text on the screen.
I'm pretty happy with the serving size of this because I eat a lot in one sitting. When I eat, once I start eating, I want to be satisfied. And next time I'll try the chicken. Just wanna try something different. When you get to the the fats of the lamb, it's good. But that's where the flavor is at. I'm gonna put some of the veggies in here. Just chuck it in. There you go. There you go. Mm Vegetables, they're nice, cold, and crispy. It took me a while to eat. I tend to take my time eating. Lock my door. Make sure no one comes in and robs me. May I work 
people pretty much know me as the guy who eats a lot, right? And they, they, they keep saying that I eat a lot, but I'm still skinny. No, there's probably a lot of factors like metabolism. Or I do exercise regularly, and I also fast every day. So it kind of helps kind of um, even things out. And it's also probably my s slowish eating. And when you eat slow, the science is that once you start eating, there's a timer on your body that uh, on your or in your brain that says, uh, you know, when it runs out, you pretty much have no more appetite to eat. If you can eat fast, you can cram in a lot of food, and you do that a lot. And if that's you, then you're probably gonna blow up. That's someone like me. Because I eat slow. Consequently, there's gonna be less food that's gonna come in, isn't it? Well, what do I know? On the bright side, I get to enjoy food a lot. I don't have to worry about getting stout. Yeah, they put a decent amount of meat in here. Could probably equate to 20, 24 or 30 grams of protein. That's enough for me. Look at this guy trying to park in such a tight spot. You better not hit my car, man. You better not hit my car. You better not hit my car. You better not hit it. It's getting too close, man. Yeah, now nah, you're not gonna fit, man. Don't be ambitious. Yeah, he left. He left. Don't look for another spot. Go look for another spot, man. Bone. It's sharp. I nearly cut the cut my mouth up. I throw that away before it impales me. Almost there, man. Almost there. I also have some box of cinnamon. 
Oh no. Yeah. This is something else. I don't know what that was. It had a minty flavor. Here's this one's the box of cinnamon. I came off of came off a tree or something. Look at that. I came off a tree. A piece of bark. The meat isn't as tender. I, str I struggle to cut parts of it off. And the cut a bit big too. I'd imagine uh, if I get the chicken one, it would be easier to uh, slice through. But that's alright. It's a good meal anyway. A good price. Good point. Struggling to cut it. Hmm. Shouldn't forget about the sauce. The green sauce. I'm pretty sure this is yogurt. There's some yogurt in this. No. I reckon yogurt. Alright, do we have any meat left in this bone? I don't have a fork, so I'm improvising how to cut it.
I'm not there, man. Get a bit of sauce in here. Hmm. Yeah, that that um, the dish that I was talking about is similar to the um, similar to the uh, Burmese one. It's chicken dunbuck. It's pretty good too. I like that. Quite similar to this. Well done. That was good. Just need to get a bit of this sauce in. Anyway, that was some good eating. Thank you all for watching. Especially since you got this far. A bunch of foodies. Subscribe for more videos. Like the video. Click the like button. If you dislike it, you can always double click that button. No. The next one's probably gonna be a burger. And again, who really knows? Again, what do I know? Huh? Having watched all that, you hungry, bro? Huh? Alright, man. See you later.